happen to him? Felix will be found, right? Of course he will be found. What's all this one now? Look, I'm sure that there might have been some development. That's why we're yet uh, here from Mark and Oscar. What if it's a bad development, Barry? What if... Can we just stop with all of this the unnecessary uh, anxiety and apprehension? Look, then, can't just forget all these what ifs. He will be found. Look, I really appreciate your optimism. I really do. But we must be realistic here. We didn't even see him this morning. It's just like he disappeared. Oh, why not what for you? I try to count the women you are adding to it. Ah. Ah. Hello? Yes. Everyone is here. What? 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 What happened? Felix. Oh. Okay. Where? It's okay, honey. We'll find who killed Felix. He was such a good person. He never looked for trouble. Why would anyone murder him? I mean, what would he have done? We are all just as surprised and in great mourning too. I mean, everyone loved him. See how a family meeting has been thrown into such mourning. Hmm? You see, don't worry. Eh? Don't worry. We'll find who killed Felix. Felix was loved by everyone and he could lay down his life for anyone. So he didn't even deserve to be killed. Listen, we'll find whoever did this and he will be punished. I promise you. It's just so unbelievable. It's just so unbelievable. But then, Mark said he saw drops of blood at the backyard. And that was what prompted him to check the backyard where the body was hidden. I mean, to, to think we were all in, in, in this house when he was murdered and dumped. Ah. I don't know. I know, I know, honey. It is fine. Eh? It's okay. We'll all be fine. Okay? We'll be fine. <sighs> I know, I know. But I know we're all depressed. We can't leave on Monday as scheduled. We just lost a brother. And it's even more scary to think that we might be living under the same roof with the killer. Huh. And it's even worse off knowing that we'll have to be here for another one week. Ha. It's scary. Oh. Linda, you shouldn't bring up that topic now. Oh, please. So when do you want us to discuss it? Food is ready, everyone. It's food. food. What normal person talks about food at a time like this? Eh? <laughs> How are we even sure she has not poisoned the food? Linda! Ah, I'm just saying. Knife to your throat. You scared me! What were you doing on my back like that? Easy now. What does it look like I'm doing? I'm just trying to stay alive. Yeah. And what does that mean? Oh, well, maybe that means I'm just trying to make sure that you don't poison me and every other person in this house through that food. And why would I do that? Oh, well, I don't know. I'm still trying to figure it. But maybe for the same reason you killed Felix. How about that? Linda, mm -hmm. I'm just respecting the fact that Felix was a good man. Mm. Or else, believe me, I would have put this hot food on you. Uh. I'm sure you and your darling Barry have enough money for plastic surgery, right? Uh. I will get more evidence. I will get more evidence. And I'll be back. Tenela, I will be back. Oh. Please do. And don't you ever come to my presence again without one. Oh. Oh, 
Mark. Ah, Sally, I didn't see you and your husband. Did he come down for breakfast this morning? Right? Yes, um, John and I decided to cook our food, so I came early to prepare it. I'm sorry for not telling you earlier. We are taking precautions. Yeah, no. And honestly, I don't blame you. The incident that happened is enough to put fear into everyone. I miss this house when it was peaceful. Yeah, it is well. Uncle. Yeah? Can I ask you something? Yeah. You said Felix was found behind the house. Um, can you tell me what was found with him? You know, maybe the weapon or anything that can be a clue. Uh, Tony, I really, truly, honestly appreciate the fact that you're trying to get to the bottom of all of this. Oh, yeah, no, but you know, I'm afraid I can't give you that piece of information you're looking for. If you want it, you need to find it on your own. But Uncle Mark... So, the truth is, um, there was no clue. Nothing at all. You know, and it, it, it's as if we're, we're chasing shadows. Okay. Tony. You have to be very careful. Trust no one. Not even me. Okay, I know that. What are you trying to do? Are you mad? I can't keep living like this, okay? It's a bit too late for you, John. And you know that! Keep your voice down. Someone might hear you. You should have thought of that before coming into my matrimonial room. Not even with my husband still within the compound. You make less of every matter. Do you have any idea what they would do if they find out what happened? Nobody is finding out anything from anybody. Unless you want to run your mouth to anybody. You underestimate my brothers and their wives. Once they feel something is off, they never stop until the dock to the end. I'm great at keeping secrets, John. If you can keep your mouth shut and stop coming here to talk about this, I'm sure you'll do just fine. Grace, I... Look, John. No matter how much they look, nothing will be found. I made sure to bury all evidence, so I'm advising you to just shut up. Are you threatening me? I'm only advising you. Hmm? So get out of my room because I won't go down alone if you make any mistake or decide to run your mouth. Get out now. Get out! What's the problem now? Why are you restless? Um, <clears throat> I'm just a bit stressed out, but I'm fine. Mm -hmm. But you know that's a lie, and we don't tell lies to each other. So tell me what the problem is. I will tell you. Hmm? But first, you have to make me a promise. Anything? Good. That you will tell <laughs> no one who keep your mouth shut. Don't deal. So can you tell me what's eating you up this early morning? I think I might have heard something from some people a few minutes ago. Really? What did you hear? Does it concern the mother? I think so. They seem to have some secret and they are afraid of someone finding out. But who are these people? Grace and John. Mm. Now, I don't know what they're hiding, mm. but I think they are both into something very deep. Mm. Well, now we know who killed your brother. But the big question would be, why did they kill Felix?
must be really starving to be yawning like that. Not really. I can see you're very busy with your phone. You should go back to bed. I only came downstairs to free my head. How are you preparing? The meeting is in a few days' time. And hmm. that's the reason why we're all under the same roof now. Hmm. I don't know. I've been busy being scared. And now the fear has multiplied now that we have to stay a week due to the postponement instead of the three days. Hmm. I've been looking for ways, things to do to just get my mind off this very sad situation. It's terrible. You know, I even spoke to my wife and my two kids. You know, they're expecting me tomorrow, Monday. Mm. I broke the news to them. Terrible. Mm. They are weeping bitterly. They really love Felix. Mm. Fantastic idea. I'm sure it will feel better, you know, speaking with them. You know, sometimes I feel like having kids. But then I just get overwhelmed with this thought that it's not your time. Daniela, no time is ever the right time until you decide. Decide it's your head. Oh, I guess you're right. You know, I'm still trying to figure out why someone would want to kill Felix. I can't figure it out myself. <laughs> Because Mark would have shared all the property in his will now. And I'm sure that will is the problem. But now it means that he will have to read, reread, adjust, maybe even rewrite. Will? Why would he even think of a will now? It's maddening. But he had a favorite amongst us all. And he doesn't even have any children to include in his will. So whoever kill Felix. Just have figured that out. So, the favorite amongst you all is Felix? He didn't even make any attempt to hide it. So if Mark actually wrote that will like he said he would do last year, then apart from Grace, Grace's wife, Felix would be the major beneficiary. Why would he even do something like that? It's his money now. He can't do anything with he's, he's our brother, he's not our father. He can share his property anyhow he wants, at any time he wants it. Mm. Uncle Oscar, if Felix is not the type to run into trouble, I think this is what we are looking for. How shall I do? With Felix out of the way, the next person to you know, benefit from all this it's the second son. Oh, that's you.
Mark, what have you done? Was that why you were hiding all the information concerning his death? Felix, why did it have to be you? I'm the second son, all right. But I was drunk that night. I was wasted in my room. You remember now? I woke up later than every other person to hear that Felix had been missing. Then that leads us to Barry. No, it can't be Barry. Can't it be? <sighs> Uncle Oscar, it can't be Barry. Barry is wealthier than Uncle Mark. He has properties everywhere. He has properties all over the country. <sighs> well, that is why I say to find out who killed Felix is going to be very difficult like this. Hmm. Uncle Oscar, mm -hmm. have you thought of this thing this way? Which way? If you didn't kill Felix, Uncle Mark didn't. And Barry, you can't even be bothered with Uncle Mark's property. That leads us to John. John? Well, if it is John, like you say, then he will have to start killing other people and keep killing until the will gets to him. Which means... <gasps> that means you have next. <laughs> Does it matter? I'm sure she has probably forgotten you. <laughs> That's if she's not even married. Well, these things are not easy, you know. Matters of the heart. Yeah. I know I messed up, but... I really loved her, you know. And if you do, then look for her and apologize now. I mean, no apologies too late, so... <laughs> Well, let's just say that I looked for her and I apologized, but it was um, a tad bit late. Ah, too late. How? Is she dead? Nope. Married. Oh, I see. Yeah. So what are you talking about? Matters of the heart, love matters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let me grab a drink. What, you want a drink? No, no, no. no. I'm what fine. you guys enjoy, yeah? Barry's back and I'm going up to him, so drink for two and enjoy. Okay. All right. <laughs> Ah. Hey, Daniel, Jesus Christ, what are you doing here? You know why I'm here. Why are you acting as if you don't? I don't know why you're here. What are you talking I about? I heard everything you told Linda. You still love me, don't you? Will you just stop it? Listen, it doesn't matter what you heard. Right? What matters is that you're married to my brother. But you know the one my heart belongs to is you. Well, you should have thought about us. Before you run off and agree to marry John. What is wrong with you? Why are you doing this? Are you out of your mind? Am I? Can you just at least tell yourself? Can you just stop? Stop! Just stop. Stop. Dropping on people's conversation. Stop trying to get yourself and stop sneaking up on me. Leave me. Leave me alone. Okay. Can I ask you a question? What? Tell me. Okay, ask. What is it? You still love me. What? Answer me. Do you still love me? Stop touching me. I couldn't stop. Shut up. Right, yes. I am still in love with you, and that is what scares me the most. I love you too. Listen, stop it. Leave me alone. Okay? Leave me alone. Late night. I came to 
check up on you now. Come on, it should be nice. Aren't you sisters in the league? So why didn't you put that into consideration when you were accusing me of poisoning your food this morning? Come on, that's... We can't be too careful these days, you should know now. And, um, it's so late and one can't help but notice that you... Linda! Husband. What do you want? Come on now, I came to check up on you. <laughs> check up on me? Yeah. It's not as if you randomly check up on people. You and I know that. Plus, it's not like my husband died. Mm. No, your husband didn't die. But our husband's brother died. Then you should be mourning, oh. shouldn't you? <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't waste my time mourning when I know there's a killer under the same roof with me. Moreover, ah, Tenyala, how come you're not worried like the rest of us? Or is there something you're not telling us? Linda, mm -hmm. please stop it already. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm not the one who has a shaky past with a dead man. Am I? And no wonder I'm not the one sitting there and mopping more than my husband. Shut up, Linda. And mind your business. Oh, should I? Or should I be more concerned whether you are the one who stabbed Felix to death out of your mad love ring? And does John even know what happened that night? Linda! Oh, <laughs> I guess not. So many secrets in this house. Yourself lately. Oh. What's going on? I'm fine. I'm fine, really. Are you perhaps feeling guilty or responsible for what happened to your brother? Why would you say that? Because you've been too open with your favoritism. Probably you must have been murdered because of the will. Will? What will? What has my will got to do with that? There's no will. I, I, I wonder why they're even killing themselves. Wait. There's no will? There's no will. I have my plans. Don't you want to involve the police? I have my plans. And, um... Even though you're my wife, you're as much a suspect as everyone else, so I appreciate it if you don't ask me any more questions. Honey! I think you should just sleep, okay? My house, and not one of Barry's mansions. Uh -huh. Show some respect. <laughs> you see, Grace, me, I have to go. I don't know what I've done to offend you, but you see this water. My husband needs it, and I'm going. Oh. 
What's wrong? What? You've been sitting there wagging your feet since and you only do that when something is up. So, what's up? Okay. I saw Grace coming out of John's room again. What? See, I think Mark is in the back place where he reads his daily papers. See, I don't know about you, but I think those two, they are up to something. So what do you now want to do? Look, we're all here just trying to wait this out. Maybe we'll all get to live through it. There won't be need for that. I have a plan. What do you plan to do, Linda? You'll see. Daniela? 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 You think I have no idea? You think I have no idea? Why are you always like this? Huh? Why are you always too difficult? Oh, Daniela, you're going to be difficult because of that goat. Because of that fool. I don't even know what you're talking about. But then, that's how you are. Laying your frustration on someone else. That's no! No, that's not. What really frustrates me is the fact that you just strut around like you're a saint. You think I don't know? You know what? That you're having an affair. Shut up. If you don't know something, don't say it. If you don't think, before speaking, then don't speak. Tidola. Maybe if you have been a better man, I wouldn't look at someone else. Are you admitting to cheating? Is that why you killed your brother? You thought I was having an affair with him? That's why you killed him, right? Things prepare for you not to talk about or know about. <laughs> you dead. Shut up. We are the perfect couple here. Yeah. Don't forget that. I don't want how to hurt you to remind you of that. God, I would never have imagined it. John abuses Seniola. Hey, why hadn't I seen it since? So John killed Felix because he suspects they were having an affair. <sighs> this is more messed up than I thought. But wait, what am I even doing? He hadn't even agreed that he killed Felix, had he? But then, if he killed Felix, what is the relationship between John and Grace? If they both are accomplices, why would Grace help John kill her brother-in-law? God, what am I getting myself into? Oh. Look, that's our choice, Mark. Uh, I mean, it, it's barely been years. It's been three years. And you both are not getting any younger. I know what happened was sad. Yeah, but you have to learn to get past that and continue with your life. See, it's easy for you to say. Mm -hmm. But the last thing that any parent who has lost a child would want to hear is that he should forget about his dead child like he never existed. No, no, Barry. I didn't mean it that well. You know, you know that. What, what happened to Caleb? Falling down the stairways like that to his death is it's something I've had to live with. Look. I know, and honestly, I regret forcing you to come out here. And, and I'm really, really sorry, honestly. Okay. Yeah. You're sorry. You know what? It, it doesn't even matter anymore. 
It doesn't. The fact is that I'm beginning to think that this family meeting thing is cursed. No, it's not. No, no, for, for first he was my son, my dear child, and, and now Felix, and then and, and God knows. No. This tradition was created by our parents to help unite us so that we can have each other's back. Well, it doesn't feel like that anymore. Look, this was created. And it can be broken. Look, people get things done to them every time they come here. Yeah, I know. I know, and I, um, I have my plans, honestly. But you must speak with Linda. Caleb would have wanted siblings. He should have more children, honestly. Don't let what happened to me happen to the both of you. No, 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 no. Don't say a word. You don't, have, you don't need to say anything now. Just think about it. Sleep on it. Because honestly, childlessness is not anywhere near being blissful. It's, it's, it's lonely. You did what? I had to do it, Barry. No, you didn't. Is something wrong with you? Do you have a death wish? See, Barry, something is wrong in this house. And how to find out? You want to, but you don't have to. Look, I lost a son. And I do not want to lose a wife. Look, something is going on in this house, but it is not your place to find it out. Barry? It's been three years since we lost our boy. Barry, like, are you out of your mind? You just lost a brother, and you're here talking about sex and making babies. Look, I, I understand. I know it sounds a bit ridiculous, but we're not getting any younger. We're not. Hmm? I mean, why don't we just make the best use of this time locked up, eh? Hmm? <laughs> Barry, you don't understand. See, I don't know. I don't think I'm ready for this. I don't want to lose another child. I get you. Okay? But I promise you, nothing will go wrong this time. Hmm? I love you, right? <laughs> hmm? Okay, so... Why not? Let's consider... <coughs> what was that?
His fever is decreasing. Hopefully, he should be up soon. And um, yes, Teniola has gone to buy drugs. I mean, I, I was with him outside, uh, and then I came in when I heard the shout. You know, this, this whole thing just doesn't make sense. I totally agree with you. Well, I hope this finally ends tonight. Yes. I know we are all very worried and also afraid, but even if he wakes up now, he might not even be able to say anything. Yes, you're right. And you have a throbbing headache and we need a lot of rest. Well, unless he sleeps all through the night. You think we should leave him alone? Well, that's not safe. No, he wouldn't be alone. I mean, Grace will stay with him. I'll be Grace. She'll lock the door behind us and open it in the morning. And I'm sure by then we'll all be here waiting to see him. Well, that sounds like a good idea to me. Mm. Uh, Grace, will you be okay? Yes, I think I will. Grace, if you need anything, call me. Okay, I will. Mary, what's that? What does it say? Most times it's best to keep your nose to yourself if you want it to remain on your face. I wasn't even here a few minutes ago when we left. See, Alinda, you need to pay attention this time. Look, this is a threat in form of a warning. You need to be careful. I think they're beginning to suspect you're snooping around. But, Mark... Look, hopefully everything should be settled by tomorrow morning. And you should be able to tell us who hit him. Yeah, I hope so. <clears throat> In the meantime, yeah. we have unfinished um, business. Hope you remember. <laughs> <laughs> naughty, naughty, naughty hobby. I'm your strong. <laughs> you naughty hobby. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Come on. Make a wait. Oh, oh. 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 <laughs> oh, but why? Why, why, why did it have to be you? Huh? I, I told you, give me just three years. It's just two years. Just two years. Felix and you left me. Oh my God. Why, why, Felix? What is wrong with you? Huh? What, what are you doing? I got a text. Are you sent to me? Why? I miss you. You, you can't be me. Listen, you're going to get us in trouble. Okay? Stop it. Felix, we had a past, and if we work together, we'll have a lovely future together. You know, and I can't have a future, all right? What is wrong with you? You are married to my brother, Teniola. What future do you want with me? Listen, we had a past. Okay, I understand that, but all that is in the past right now. Leave me alone. Felix, I don't love John. I only came close. You know what? You got close to my brother, got married to him. You don't want to make me jealous because you and I fought for two months? Three months, Felix. Three months. You left me high and dry, confused. I didn't have anyone to talk to. I couldn't go to your brothers to ask for your contact or your whereabouts. Because I traveled. Teniola, I traveled to work out, to make money, to give you and I a better life. I wanted to come back and propose to you and I came back what? To find out that you're married to my brother and that you're sending me text messages left and right. Okay. Just gonna let me talk. Talk. Okay. I don't love Joanna. I just thought if I get married to Joanna, 
that will be the only easiest way, you know, to get close to you. Sonella, what do you want from me? Tell me, what do you want me to do right now? Because you're constantly appearing right in front of me, it's driving me insane. What do you want from me? Okay. Just give me three years. Just three years. I will confess and fight for a divorce and we can be together. Please. You're out of your mind. Come in. Linda, please, not this morning. Okay, I understand. If you don't want to talk to me, I could just go away. Please. I'm sorry for yelling. It's just that all this thing happening and you picking on me continually, I, I'm not just in the mood for this this morning. Tenyela, calm down. Plus, I don't want to be in a room with someone that might be a murderer. Yes! Okay. That thing that happened to Mark, anyone could have done that to him. Okay, see, I understand. I think I'll just go on to whenever you're ready. I mean... What is it that you want to say? Uh, 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 see, Tenyola, I don't know how you're going to take this, but I think I know the truth. This is about Felix and I, isn't it? Uh, no, 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 no. Today's about nobody but you. After all, I know what's happening between you and John. Please, go away. See, I know you're hiding this from everybody else. And it's because they all think John is being lovely to you. But you see, I'm just going to assume it's because you're terrified. You don't even have an idea of what you are getting involved with. Oh well, I may not know. But at least I know that you're not a murderer. Look, Linda. I don't want to get involved in all these things. Please, go away. I should go. Just go away. Are you okay, Uncle? Yeah. As I look, don't worry. I am fine. Look. You can't keep telling us not to worry. I mean, you almost lost your life and... Uh, look, I don't know what you're doing, though. But I think it's about time we involve the police. Ah, uh, no, Barry, no, no. I'm okay. I'm, honestly, I'm fine. Yeah. But where is uh, John and Oscar? They left. They didn't say where, but I'm sure they'll be back soon. But then I asked, I said nobody should leave the house now. Oh, cool. Take it easy. <laughs> That is what I've been telling him all this while. Eh? You don't worry too much about me. <laughs> yeah. uh, look, uh, Mark, mm -hmm. we are all here because of what happened. Yet you are not, you are not really saying anything. <clears throat> Who was it that hit you? Is Great. It. What Great. is it? What happened? This is what I think I can remember. I went downstairs to the kitchen to get a glass of juice. You know. Then I heard something, you know. I, I turned, I looked, and I thought it was my wife. I actually spoke to her. Then I discovered that uh, something was wrong. You know. I just felt so strange. Go ahead. Go ahead and come back. I, I, I don't know. Um, I, that, I, I, I turned, yeah, but, but then that, that was it. Just so, who was it? I mean, did you see the person that hit you? How? I, I couldn't see anything. I, I, it, it just, I don't know, it just happened so fast. But how? I mean, I, I, I turned and that, that was it, you know? I mean, I didn't, but, I'm, but I'm fine. There's no need for you all to worry. Not this much. Okay, I'm okay. Don't worry, we'll get to the bottom of this. Don't worry. Yeah. Don't worry. Okay? Yeah?
What is going on exactly? What is happening? I just feel like there's a bit of information I'm missing. I just think there's a little, just a tiny bit of information that I'm missing that will make all of this to add up. I know it, but what it is, I don't know. Ah. years ago we had this same meeting that my son accidentally fell to his death. Now Felix is dead. Somebody's trying to kill Mark. All I just want is for all this to end. I want to pack my things and just go away. Mm -hmm. Go away. Except that you'll be going away with that same husband that abuses you, Tinyola. What do you want me to do, Linda? Oh. <laughs> See, I know you never loved John. I know you loved Felix. I mean, he also once told me he was in love with a girl until she got married. And I looked at him one day and I could tell that whoever that girl was, he still loved her. And it just took me a little time to know that that girl was you, Daniela. I never cheated on John. I love Felix, but I never cheated on John. But of course I know. I know. I mean, even Felix wouldn't have allowed that. But, I don't know, I just have this feeling that, I mean, you might know who killed Felix and is trying to kill Mark. What are you saying? Linda. Okay. Thing is, don't you think that John might have killed Felix? Because he thinks you guys are having an affair. Linda, answer me. The thing is, I think he had, but I don't have any proof. Okay, at least that makes it two of us. Because I think he's a killer too. But then, I think he has an accomplice. What? Who? Grace. Grace, Mark's wife. But, but that's ridiculous, and uh, that does not even make any sense. Daniela, bring down your voice. Uh -uh. Uh, yes, Grace, Mark's wife. But then I'm still trying to figure it out anyway. But then I think it's only your hands because you need to find evidence. No, I, I, I don't think so. Okay, think of it this way. If you do that, you'll find a reason to file for divorce and you run away. Simple. Okay, you know what? Let's meet tomorrow morning, that same spot where Mark reads his papers in the morning, okay? Hmm? Who did this to you, Felix? You trusted these people so much Yet one of them hurt you. But I'll find who did this. And I'll put them in jail. You deserved better than this, Felix. You deserved better than this. <laughs> but I promise you, I'll do this. I'll do this for you, Felix. And I've told you for the upteenth time. I have no hand in this madness now. I mean, can't you see I was almost murdered? 
You want to make me a widow, Mark? How could you even announce you want to write a will? Who does that? Why are you going back there now? Huh? And why would dad make girls get killed? Why? Because you made it obvious he was your favorite. huh? He lived with you for 15 years. Mm -hmm. You got him a car as a birthday gift, which he smashed. No, he had an accident. Wasn't the car smashed? Hmm? You opened a business for him. When you're talking to your siblings, it's either Felix this or Felix that. It was all your fault. You literally signed the guy's death warrant. No, oh, really. Why are you suddenly more concerned about this will than your sick husband? Huh? I'm only worried. I'm worried about you. Worried? Yes. You're sounding more angry and jealous. Never mind, Mark. It's useless anyway. What are you talking about? Good night, Mark. You need the rest. Finally. Oh, I thought you were not going to come out. No, nah, I was just trying to feed Barry so he wouldn't have any reason to come downstairs to interrupt us. Mm -hmm. I hope you haven't been here for too long. Not really. Okay. It feels good to be outside and I have a temporary feeling of freedom. Yeah, I know, I know. So, as Paolo was saying, I've been digging and I think John is deep into something messy. Yeah. Hmm. You know, I was thinking, at first, I didn't think John would kill Felix because of mm. our relationship. Okay, so what are you talking about? What other reason would he have to have killed him? I was talking to Oscar the other day. Okay. And he mentioned something about a will. A will? What will? Mark's will. He said he was going to write one last year. Okay. Oscar figured John might have killed Felix because of the will. But this is not making any sense to me. Felix is not even the second son. And if anyone had anything to gain by killing Felix, then it should be Oscar. So why would John kill Felix, knowing that he would have to kill Barry, Oscar, and even Grace before it gets to him? That would be too many deaths, and it would be damn suspicious. Well, Oscar is really bothered. Hmm. He feels he's the next to be killed. But why is Oscar not your suspect? He was in his room drunk that night. Hmm. He only woke up in the morning to hear his brother has been missing. I went to wake him up myself the next day. He had a huge hangover. Wait, what? What's the problem? You said Oscar said he was drunk, alone and asleep in his room, right? Until he woke up the following morning. Yes. And he said your husband has no reason to kill Felix. Since the other is more wealthier than him. So what's the problem? The story doesn't add up. <laughs> Which one? Okay. You said Oscar said he was alone that night. Mm -hmm. But Barry said they were together. <sighs> why would Barry said he was with his brother? If he was out drunk. And why will he say he was with Oscar when the latter denies having any companion? Hmm. <sighs> why will Oscar lie? Well, we don't know who's lying yet. But one thing I know for sure is someone is lying. <sighs> now, who it is and why, I don't know. And I think that is the more reason why we have to find out exactly what happened that night. Yeah. A penny for your thoughts? A dollar, I won't even buy it. Oh, really? Come on now, I was just joking. 
<laughs> so? Okay, so I'm just thinking. Yeah, you've been doing a lot of that lately, so what's the latest? Well, nothing serious. Just random thoughts. So tell me. You know I love it when you talk to me. <laughs> okay. Did you really believe Uncle Mark when he said he didn't remember who hit him? Why wouldn't I believe him? I mean, if he says it doesn't, it doesn't. <laughs> Barry, why did you start taking people for their words? It's for my sanity. Oh. And anyway, what reason would he have for lying? Listen, Barry, I have the instinct of a woman, and he never lies. What if Uncle Mark is hiding the killer? Your instinct told you that our last gate man's sister was his girlfriend. <laughs> After two days, we sacked him. The same sister later came with the wife to plead. Come on now, Barry, that was in the past. Why are you bringing it up? Ah. What I'm saying is that sometimes it just pays to take people by their words. It helps keep body and soul together. And I have also discovered that the sooner I stop pushing around here, the sooner we leave. Barry? Look. I'm beginning to wonder why you are so interested in this whole thing. I mean, what, why is it so important to you? Because I need to find out the truth. Everyone here is scared of what they will find when they dig deeper. I think you start thinking like everyone else. I'm being careful. For her safety. <clears throat> Put up the light when you're ready to sleep. Yes, sir. I'm so I'm so sorry. Yeah, I, w I was ill, so I couldn't reach you. Uh, I, I I took seven days, and I have about three days left. Yes, of course. I know the police have every right to come into the matter, but I've almost apprehended the culprit myself. You know, they're not even aware. Yes, I need to be safe. Yes, I I understand. Just. Three days. to you. Three days. Are you out of your mind? Or is it that you're just Plainly stupid? I told you to cut every means of communication until this fire and even the embers are swept away. I hate it when you 
sound like that. Don't even think of it, you, you idiot. Before we did all that, you said you had the right mind for it. Not for everything Tenyola had made you pass. No. You would dare it, John. You would tell Mark anything. Do you know what will happen to us? She did it, done. So live with the guilt. Do not call this line again. Huh? Anyone could hear and we will be in great danger. Grow up and act well. Bye. to ask me. After all, I heard all you said to John. It has been you and John all along. Hey, what are you talking about? Uh, but I heard you now. I heard all you said to John. So don't stand there pretending like you don't know what I'm hmm. saying. What exactly did you hear? Exactly what you and John did, Chris. And what exactly did we do? Are you always this sneaky? Or did you suddenly develop this, this has to behavior with time? Don't you stand there and try to change the topic, Chris. Because I'm... Shut up! I don't know what you think you heard. Or what you found out. And will do with the piece of information you find. You cannot scare me, Chris. Unfortunately, I'm not trying to. Hey? Do you have an evidence? Oh, well, maybe I don't. But I know that I heard you vividly. Then you have nothing. Now listen, sneaking up on people like this can get you killed. And believe me, pests like you don't last long. Whoa, you can't scare me this. Get close. Are you mad? Why are you blaming me for what I did? I did what I had to do. No, you didn't. You are far too interested in, the, in, in, in this crime, and I don't know why. This is my brother we're talking about here. I mean, what is it about Felix that has you so fixated on this? He's your brother. Is that not enough reason? No, it is not. Oh. Is that why you had to call Eric to ask him if I was really with him that day like I told you I was? See, I don't want to leave any stone unturned. Mm. Okay, I'm sorry. No, you're not. You are just sorry that I'm annoyed that you are not. But I know you are still going to go ahead with this. Oh, but of course, I'm not going to sit around and watch anyone trying to hurt us again. Mm, really? Okay, I'm going to go ahead. Anyway, I know that you've already added my name to your little circle of suspects, or haven't you? Stop saying that now, Barry. I was only trying to confirm where you were. I already told you where I was that day. But still, you go up. You know what? There's no point in trying to stop you from this madness. So go ahead. What? Yes, go ahead. I mean, you're obviously obsessed with this newfound detective spirit of yours. I mean, who knows what you're going to do next? Maybe you're going to, to invite a spiritualist to find out if I truly drove straight home that night. Please stop saying that now. I will. And you can have the bedroom all to yourself. Uh -huh. mm? Good night. Bye. 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 But why does it feel like I'm the only one who is truly concerned about this? like you're everywhere I go these days. Well, I wouldn't really say that. So, what do you want this time? As I don't have anything for you to spy on. Well, I wasn't expecting to see anyone here. But now that you're here, I'm happy. I already told you to find something of an evidence before you come before me. So, do you have it? See, no matter how smart you try to play, I already know you killed Felix. 
And I know John helped you to do it. I killed Felix? Mm -hmm. Why would I do that? Oh, good question. Because I was actually meaning to ask you, Grace. Why did you kill Felix? <laughs> Sticking your nose for so long into something that doesn't concern you is what is making you crazy. Oh, am I crazy? Maybe I understand why John tried to kill Felix. But for you, Grace, what did you stand to gain? It's high time I told Barry to get your head checked. Because you're beginning to sound like a mad woman. Oh, am I? Or am I beginning to make some sense to you? Or am I a little bit too close to the answer? If John was angry because he thought his wife was having an affair with Felix, I would understand why he tried to kill him. But for you, Grace, what do you stand to gain? You're sick. Oh. Am I? Or is it because of the wheel? What did you just say? Oh well, we all knew that your husband loved Felix. <laughs> Will you shut up your mouth before I slap you once again? Now listen and listen real good. If you go running your mouth about me to anybody, I'll make sure Barry doesn't have a mouth to kiss. This is not over, Chris. This is not over. Linda! Are you okay? I just remembered something. What is it? What's wrong? It might be of help. What's the problem? <laughs> It was about that day Felix died. Okay. I remember something. Tell me now. What do you remember? Tell me. Okay. Earlier that day, you know, I cornered him the way I normally do. Mm -hmm. And he was angry with me. No, he wasn't angry. He was scared, you know. He was scared that I was still showing my love for him. And... Yes, go on. Go on. Okay. So, he was scared. He was very scared, you know, a different kind of fear. I was trying to talk to him. He was angry and uh, I don't know, I, I, I was trying to talk to him. Normally, he would listen to me, but that day he didn't just want to listen. But with, he said he was scared. Scared of, did he tell you why he was scared? So I kept pestering him, talking to him like, you need to talk to me. Okay. And, he said um, what was bothering him was not that important that, but if anything happened to him, that we'll find it in his diary. Just like that. So I said, um, you need to talk to me. I need to know what exactly is the problem. Though I was trying to tell him that it, it has been a problem with me and John, we weren't finding things well, you know. But he, wasn't listening to me. He just said, I have to go, I have to go. But this sounds like he knew it was going to get hot. Well, not really. He said he's sorry, he's unable to share his problem with me because I have enough on my plate with John. Wait, this diary, did he tell you where to find it? I've seen it once. Okay. You know, that day I snaked into his room. Okay. That was the day we came, you know, the day we arrived. And I saw it. But he didn't tell me if I will see it. If anything happened, what are we waiting for? See, we need to go find that diary. We need to find it because we can end this today. Yes. This room is locked. Uncle Mark locked it the, the day he died. And he's the only one with the key. Hold on. If Felix actually wrote down the name of the person he thought was going to harm him, then I have to get my hands on that diary. I have to. What are you planning? Anything and everything.
What are you doing turning my room upside down? Huh? Uncle, I, was... I hope you have a very good explanation for this. Sorry, Uncle, I was actually looking for you, so I... You were looking for me inside my wardrobe? Um, Uncle Mark, actually, I'm looking for the key to Felix's room. Why are you looking for the key to Felix's room? Uncle, because I feel like the, he has... there's a clue as to his death in there. Yeah, so why do you think so? Because he told... He told? Who told? What told? Uncle, see, I know this is going to sound ridiculous, but I'm convinced that there's evidence as to Felix's death in his room. Linda, enough of this nonsense. Enough of your nosiness. I just want you to just get out of the room, okay? Uncle, please listen to me. Let me explain. See, Uncle, if, if I get... Uh, Linda, the meeting is coming up in a couple of hours. Uh, no, hear me out. I don't want to plan another funeral. Just, just, just get up. Go! What is wrong with this girl? No, 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 no. This is ridiculous. See, I wouldn't have asked for help if I knew another way now. No, I can't do that. I'll bring suspicion to myself. Okay, come. Look at it this way. This is your only chance of exposing John and also redeeming yourself. You know, listen to yourself. You want me, no, no, you want us to sneak in someone who picks locks, to pick Felicity's law and get the diary, right? Of course not. It's that simple. I mean, let's just solve this crime once and for all. And let us get justice for Felix. No, no. A million and one things could happen. <sighs> Tomorrow is the main meeting. Everyone is at a lot. Felix's room is in the main house. Oh. Anyone can come out of their room and find someone breaking into Felix's room. Come on now. We'll be fast. No, we'll be stupid to do that. Would we'll definitely be caught. How do we sneak in a man into through the main gate? Everyone's looking for what to point fingers at. And don't let us make them point fingers at us. Let's be optimistic, Teniola. We can solve this crime. Whose idea is this? Oh. See, it doesn't matter whose idea or plan it was, whether it was mine or Barry's. The important thing is there was a plan. And we just have to solve this crime. We have to. The only plan that I can see myself in right now yeah. is to stay alive okay. and stay out of trouble till tomorrow. <sighs> this time tomorrow, I'm out of this place. Really? And crawl back into the arms of that beast that killed the man you should have spent the rest of your life with? <laughs> Teniola? Look, let's leave that. Huh. If the evidence is in there and Mark is with the key, oh. there is no way we oh. can get it. Come on, Teniola. We can at least try. Let's try. I would like to go to John. And I think you should do the same before Barry starts getting worried. Yeah. Good night, <sighs> Linda. Teniola. And Teniola seem to be really close these days. And how does that bother you? It does not bother you. I asked the woman who raided my matrimonial room as if she's the second wife to my husband. Listen, Grace, I owe you no explanation. I already explained these things to Mark. So you don't stand there and talk to me like that. Come on now, I'll be too disappointed. Are you sure you explained to Mark? Or you're just here gathering people to hate me? Listen, I don't know what it is you're planning to do. But whatever it is, have you thought about what Mark will do if he finds out what you did? You don't give up. 
Do you? Oh no, I don't. So you hurry now and go confess to Mark. So I can gather enough evidence against you, so I can disgrace you. You have less than 20 hours to gather this great evidence of yours. I bet you'll be so surprised. You seem to be too confident that nothing will be found out. <laughs> ah, do you know what shocks me the most? How you're so serious with this detective role of yours, but was so clumsy with your motherly duties. Don't you think if you were this serious with your son, he would have been alive today? How dare you? How dare you say such a thing about my son? Grace! <laughs> the night in shining armor is here. You're just picking a woman, you! <laughs> See, Grace. If you were such a, a good woman, then you should have at least four children running around you right now. I mean, what have you been doing that that hasn't happened? I mean, it's been like years since Lola, Mark's first wife, died. So, what exactly have you been waiting for? Barry! Maybe you should go back to your room and think about that. Barry! <laughs> Barry, stand. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my God. Jesus. John, what have you done? Honey. Mm -hmm. Can I ask you something? Of course, dear. Go ahead. Do you sometimes feel like I'm a bad wife? I'm a horrible mother? Do you sometimes feel like I could have averted our son Caleb's death? Come on, darling, I have never thought of you in that way, never. I don't know, I just, I blame myself so much. Look, none of what happened that night was your fault. I mean, you were feeling sick and you had already put Caleb to bed before you slept off. You know, but I just feel like if I had stayed up a little longer and maybe I saw him wake up and then he wouldn't have wandered up to the stairs where he fell to his death. Hey, hey, hey. Please stop this. Hmm? I do not blame you for the death of our boy. I never have and I never will. That is why I've always been patient with you until you are ready to have another child. I just feel really bad. I feel so bad. I feel like I could have done better. I could have done way better. <laughs> Look, it's all in the past now, okay? And there's no point clinging to those painful memories. Hmm? Look, I promise you that I will continue to do everything in my power to make sure nothing happens to you. Hmm? Mm. I'm still very scared. You don't have to be. Hmm? I will do everything I can to protect you. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Who is that? Linda, it's me. You need to see something. Daniela? What is it? I 
I think this is what we are looking for. The evidence. I thought we were looking for a diary. I know, I know I said that, but I found this in my room. To Mark. But why would Felix write to me? Lord! Tenyala, we need to show this to Mark right away. No. We need to write. No. no! No! Tomorrow is the last day. And tomorrow is the main meeting. Mm. I think we should show this to Mark in front of everyone. But you... Well, I guess you're right. As for Grace, she thought we wouldn't find anything. She has totally underestimated Barry's wife. You see, tomorrow, Mark will know the kind of wife he has. Tenyala, tomorrow, the truth will be told. I assure you. Out. Why are you coming from dressed like that? I want to speak to Linda. I left an envelope here. Yeah, did you, did you see it? Envelope? What is the envelope? Look, are you telling me that you're too dumb to know what an envelope is? I left one here and I need to know where it is. Why are you making noise? In short, I, I really want to go on. Look, listen, I need to find the envelope right now. Where is it? What's wrong with you? What's in the envelope that you want to kill your wife? What's in the envelope is more important than your life. And if I find out that you took it, the last thing you'll see is my face. I promise you. I don't even know what is in the envelope that you are just making noise. What did you do last night? What? Grace says someone needed her husband's room. Why did you have to do that? But I... Someone tried to break into Felix's room. I didn't do it. Why would I pull such a stunt? Knowing fully well, I almost got caught by Mark the other time. I didn't. Oh. I'm tired of all this. I just want to go away. See, I don't know what Mark has in his mind, but I think it's something big. You know what? Let's go get ready. Because the earlier we get ready, the sooner we'll find out what's going on. Okay. And then remember, don't forget, we need to show Mark something, okay? Linda. Yeah, Linda. Thank you. We are ready. Yeah, you can come now. Yes, and uh, bring everyone with you. Who was that, Mark? You'll soon find out. What do you have in mind? You seem to have a plan. A plan? I wouldn't call it a plan. I'll call it a surprise. Oh, I see. Yes, we did. Uh, the DPO couldn't come, so he sent us. Quite right, good. So, um, let's start. What exactly are we to start? This is meant to be a meeting of family members. These police officers, I don't know. So, um, what do you think we're doing here? We lost our brother in this house. I was almost killed. Then only yesterday someone broke into Felix's room to try and steal evidence. But what else do you think we're doing here? I'm trying to find out who the culprit is. How do you intend to do that, Tony? Eh? We don't even have any evidence. Don't we? There's evidence. Wait, wait, wait. There's evidence. And, and I wait a whole week before anybody tells anybody anything. What's happening here? Is this a joke? We lost a soul a week ago. I don't think that is funny. And I did not see whether or not we had evidence, Oscar. 
I said the big question is who killed Felix? That's what we want to know. Who killed Felix? Oh, as usual, everyone else is a suspect except for you. Why would I want to kill him? Why, why would I? Why, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? I mean, you, 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 you said you, you wrote a will. Yes. I mean, for all we know, you could have just said that to divert everyone's attention. Ah, maybe, just maybe, the, the boy had discovered some secret that he didn't want anybody else to know about. And of course, we all believe that you loved him, so boom, you killed him. And you're not even a suspect. Impressive. But my husband is not a killer. Mm. Mm. <laughs> what about you? Are you a killer? Yes, you, Grace, are you a killer? Because you must have figured it out. Hmm? You don't have any children. Lola before her death did not have any children. So you will be the highest beneficiary. Followed by Felix. But you didn't want that, did you? So you have to do your thing to get him out of the way. The only problem is that Felix cannot be scared easily by a woman. So I think that you tricked him. I better still you hired help. Oscar! Yeah, so how much did you promise me? What did you promise your accomplice? Huh? A major part of, of the inheritance? Or probably even more? Hey, it's come, man, Oscar. Even you, why are you not a suspect? Uh, no, no, hey, no, 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 no. Everybody knows I was drunk that night. <laughs> Everybody knows I was wasted. He was, he was telling who, who fetched me the next morning? <laughs> Ten years uh, So they are the men. Wait. Does everyone know that you don't love me or do you just think you're some sort of saint? Mm -hmm. what? Tony, what is he talking about? Look, John, I might have been in love with another man, but I never cheated on you. I'm not as despicable as you are. <laughs> Don't tell me to calm down. I will not calm down. I have calmed down for years, yet this man abused me. Yes, and I want the over to know what you have been doing. Mm. John, you raised your hand against the woman? Are you an animal? And you, Grace, are you going to tell us why you killed Felix? Tell us why you killed Felix. Because I'm sure you found out that Teniola was in love with Felix. And that's why you killed him. Tell us, why did you kill Felix? This woman is at it again. Oh. She's been a lousy mother. I mean, which mother would watch her son ah. die ah. under her care? Hey, hey, hey. no, 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 no. See who is talking. Ah. See who is talking. Does everyone here know what you have with John? Oh. Does Uncle Mark here know what his dear wife has you, you and John have together? Mm -hmm. See you, look at you. Uh-uh. Nonsense. Uncle Mark, what about this? What is she talking about? Okay. What nonsense? What is this? Have you forged something to paint me black? Mm -hmm. eh? Forged what? Forged what? Forged what? You have to tell us. Tell us now. Tell us what you did. Tell us what you did. Ah. Ah. what have you done? Well, I decided to follow my inner spirit and found out that I wanted to be saved after all. Uncle Mark, we know who the culprit is. We know who killed Philip. Please tell this policeman to take them away and let us forget about this. Thing. For uh -uh. I didn't do it, Mark. Hmm? I didn't kill anyone. Hmm. Hmm. I know you didn't kill anyone. Uh -huh. Uncle Mark. Enough of all this facade. Mary, where were you at 10 p.m. the night Felix died? 
My husband. What has he got to do with this? I was upstairs in my room and I could see you down. You were walking somewhere in the balcony on your system. Then when I came downstairs, Felix was gone. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, bring those things. Over there. No, no, no. Open it. I hold it. This is the shirt I gifted you on your birthday last year. Marie? What did you do? I'm sorry, honey. What? What exactly did you do? I, I did what needed to be done. It is hard. Okay? How can I tell my brother a thing like that? How can I tell him that I killed his son? What? Well, you want me to look him in the face and tell him that I, I, I got home too drunk, too drunk that I didn't notice the boy was standing there and I pushed him. That I was so stupid when I saw the boy still alive and still breathing. I could have done that. I could have called an ambulance, you know, rushed him to the hospital or something. But I didn't do that. I was scared that someone was going to see me. And I, and I, and I ran off. And he, he, he died. Is that what you want me to tell him? That, that I'm guilty. That's hard. Say, My brother, look, I'm sorry. Just tell me that I didn't hear you well. Barry, look. I honestly wish that I, that I could turn back the hands of time and, uh, and bring your son back to life, but I can't. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay? Please. Please. Hear you well. I would have believed you. My brother, please. It's a, it's, it's a pain that I've been living with for, for a long time. It's it, it's it's I am sh I'm ashamed of what I've done to you, my brother. I am sorry. Please forgive me. Please, I beg you. Alright. I, I know how this looks. Believe me. I'm sorry. Please. Please. It's okay. Would you mind telling me everything that happened over the drink? Okay. It, it's tough, tough, but... Okay. okay. Of course. Okay. Let me just, um... Let me just get my wallet. Hmm? Uh, you, you just wait for me at the backyard, then, um... Ooh, ooh. Talk about you in the back here, then we'll go get a drink, yeah? Okay. Just, uh... Barry, I'm sorry.
me had been deceiving me on this world, Harry. So that was why he didn't want me to pursue this case. So it was you who did Mark before you came to the bedroom the other day? Oh, Barry. <laughs> I was scared what you were going to find. I... <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, honey, but he killed our son. <laughs> I went back there the next morning to retrieve the only evidence which was my shirt, but it wasn't there. And since Mark hadn't called in the police, I, I felt everything was all right. I didn't call the police because I didn't want you to be panicked. Uh, we already had the shirt, we had the knife. It was really lousy of you to have left them. Thank God you did. You should not have killed him, Mary. Mary was your brother. <laughs> Little one, I didn't suspect you. So you had a little bit of information I was missing all the while. Mary. I was angry. I acted out of anger. No. I'm, I'm sorry, but I, I, I didn't want to dig in deeper. That's, that's why I planted the letter in the room to scare you off. This is unbelievable. So, the detective's husband is the killer. He had been on a vendetta and he was smart too. This is indeed a shocking revelation. I couldn't have imagined it. Oh, shut up! Oh, shut up, Grace, shut up. You think you're so, so smart or something? I don't, or do you think I'm daft? I heard you call to John. The same day you had that altercation with Linda. And somehow I felt, John, you were going to come to confess to me or something. Even then, I didn't even know what you were going to confess to. So I went into your room. I saw that letter and I read it. So I left it back in the book so that Tim could see it. Uncle Mark. Yes, I did that. Then what did you want me to do? I went back to my room like I couldn't sleep. You know, and then all of a sudden I, I heard I heard someone trying to break into Felicity's door. Quietly I just went to her and I, I, I peeped at her, I saw Barry. <laughs> I knew he was panicked or something because he couldn't find the diary. He couldn't find his shirt. But Grace, I'm so shocked at you. I'm so shocked. Linda, I didn't know Felix did all this. He didn't say anything. I'm so sorry. Is there anybody who has anything else to say? I... I have something I want to say. John, I'm done with this prison you call marriage. I'm sure by now you... You know, I married you because I wanted to be close to Felix. I'm sorry I played you, but I want a divorce. I'll get you the papers in a few days for you to sign. You're the devil. The very devil. <laughs> Officer. <laughs> I'm going to take him away. No, no, Uncle Mark, no. No, Uncle Mark, no, 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 please, please. Uncle Mark, no. 
You just go upstairs to pack your things and then get out of my house. Get out! You are under arrest for the murder of Mr. Felix. You have the right to remain silent or anything you say will be used against you in the court of law. Officer, take him out. Oh, sir. Oh, 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 your hands out, sir. Madam, please calm down. No, please, please. Your hands out, sir. No, please, please. Don't go back. Don't go back, please. Don't go back, please. No, no, Madam, please let us go. No, no, no. Madam, please let us go, Joe. Please, please. No, you can't take it. No, no, no. Oh, my God. 